hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome thank you for clicking on this video to watch it i do appreciate it so today this is what i have for you today it's a red glitter cut crease and bold lip color and i hope you like it um <laughs> to start this look i'm going to first do my eyebrows and i'm using this eyebrow pencil i got from elf i'm using this pulley to brush my eyebrows and now i am going to use the pencil itself to line my eyebrows I don't do too much when it comes to my eyebrows I just line my eyebrows brush it again line it brush it down line it brush it up line it so <laughs> it's just what I do um, it's nothing too much I just keep lining it until I like what I see and now I'm going to use my LA girl pro concealer in on to clean the top and bottom part of my lash of my eyebrows just to make them pop you know mm -hmm. how are you guys spending your um um holiday how are you spending your christmas are you having a party are you inviting people over are you cooking or are you working let me know in the comment section i really really want to know me i'm just going to stay in my room and watch a bunch of movies now i'm showing you guys the la girl pro concealer and i'm just going to use that as um uh what's it called <laughs> a primer an eye primer so i'm putting that on my eyes and blending it out with my fingers with my finger and then i'm going to use my airspawn powder and set it it's always important to set your concealer before you apply your eyeshadow to avoid creasing so now I'm going to take that um, color that shade and put it on my crease and take it up above my crease so I'm going to use it as a transition color now I'm going to take this shade it's red and I'm going to put that in my crease I just keep packing it on until I like what I see and then I stop. Now I'm going to take that um, dark purple and put that on my crease, just on my crease, concentrating it on my crease alone. I just want my crease to be darker before I make it more dark. I don't know if that makes sense so basically I'm going from light to dark on my crease then I'm going to take that blending brush from elf and blend the colors out so with a small precision brush from elf I'm taking that black eyeshadow and I'm lining my crease with it so I'm using the black eyeshadow to cut my crease I'm also going to extend in the black eyeshadow towards the outer corner of my eye. So now I'm using the same blending brush from e.l.f. to blend my crease. And as I blend, I dip the blending brush into the purple eyeshadow and blend with that. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in front to clean my lid. So I'm going to dip um, an angled brush from e.l.f. into the concealer and use that to clean my lid. And I'm going to take the shade of red from the same palette and put that on my lid and I'm just using um, an eyeshadow brush from elf to dab that eyeshadow on my lid Now 
then I'm going to take this elf glitter primer and I'm using the same eyeshadow brush to put that on my lid so with the glitter primer the glitter is bound to stay on and not fall off so I'm using the same brush to pack the glitter and tap it on my lid so I'll keep putting it on until I like how it looks so I'm going back in with the elf small precision brush and taking the black eyeshadow from the um, BH cosmetic palette and lining my lid again just to um, you know sharpen the black on my lid then I'm just blending again so as I blend I dip my blending brush into the red it depends on where I'm blending at so I'll just dip the brush into the particular color at the spot I'm blending at and blend and now I'm sharpening the dark on the dark eyeshadow again and just lining it over and over again until I like how black it is so I wanted the glitter to be extended to, uh, to the outer corner of my eye and so I'm cleaning the outer corner with my with the concealer and then after cleaning it with the concealer I'm going to apply the elf um, glitter primer and then I'm going to put some glitter um, in the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going to line my eyes with the e.l.f. eyeliner and this is in black navy and so I'm not going to do a big wink eyeliner so just something tiny but I'll extend it towards the outer corner of my eye. So here I am cleaning up some more, sharpening some more, applying some more, well basically just making sure that everything comes out nice and clean. So I'm just going to dip the precision brush into the black eyeshadow from the palette and sharpen the outer corner of my eye and here I'm going to apply false lashes and these lashes are from Walmart they are called Camille, Camilla, Camilla, Camilla I don't know but I'll list it in the description box below so yeah um, applying false lashes is very difficult for me because my eyes water a lot and yeah but hey I did it and I love it eyelashes just make everything look more sophisticated and nice you know so I'm using this um, super sizer mascara from covergirl and I got this from Walmart and now I'm going to prime my face with the elf face primer and I'm putting that all over my face and I'm going to rub it in Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I use um, Cappuccino and I'm just going to put that all over my face and I'm going to blend it in with my e.l.f. powder brush. I'm also going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun and I'm going to put that below my eyes the bridge of my nose my forehead my chin where out uh, below where I'd contour and um, I keep it well and then I'm going to use a damp beauty blender beauty blender and blend this all out now I'm going to use my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to just take that shade and put that below my jaw the side of my head and below um, my cheekbones I'm using the other side of the beauty blender to blend everything out and my beauty blender is spoiling and I don't have another one <laughs> I don't know what I'll do without my beauty blender what will I do though 
I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I'm just blending and blending and blending until everything looks nice. And then I'm going to take my airspawn powder and I'm going to put that everywhere I highlighted. And next I'm going to take my elf coal eyeliner and line my waterline. Now I'm going to take that small precision brush from e.l.f. to smudge the e.l.f. coal eyeliner because I want um, a little bit of darkness below my eyes and now I'm going I'm taking away the airspun powder using this big um, powder brush from wet and wild so now I'm going to take the black uh, radiance pressed powder in warm his knot and I'm going to use that to contour so I'm applying that everywhere I applied the Anastasia cream contour okay, cream contour and I'm also doing this with the big um, brush from wet and wild so now it's time for blush and I'm using the Maybelline fit me in deep wine and also taking that with the big brush from um, wet and wild I'm applying that on my cheeks for highlights I am taking the wet and wild mega glow and I think this is called crown of my canopy I'm not sure <laughs> but there's a number here that's that says 34739 anyways um yeah that's the highlight I'm using and it's from wet and wild so I'm applying that um on the top of my cheekbones the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose my forehead my cupid's bow and uh my brow bones and the inner corners of my eyes then I am going to take that shade that red shade and put that below my waterline and I'm using a precision brush no I think it's a lip um, brush from oh sorry a concealer brush from elf <laughs> and now I'm going to line my lips with this NYX lip liner so now I'm going to use this Colourpop lipstick and it came with this um, set called it's vintage and this particular lipstick is called LAX and I'm just going to put that all over my lips I love the Colourpop lipsticks I'm definitely going to get some more so this is the finished look guys I really do hope you enjoy this makeup look or at least learn something please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment tell me what you think about this makeup look it's my first time doing the cut crease and also guys please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video